What's up guys, Twitchy here, back with another Arc Server Manager tutorial. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day hanging out here, making some tutorials up for you guys. Hopefully you guys are still finding them helpful. Uh, I do believe this makes number nine, not like Mambo number nine or anything, just number nine on the Arc Server Manager tutorials list. Today I want to go over custom level progressions for you and your dinos. Okay, so basically what this is, is how many times you can level up. You and your dinos. So the custom player levels are over here, the dino levels of course are over here, and we could just come in here and we could say that we want to add a, uh, add a level, right? And it would say 101, 102, so forth and so on. And we could change the amount of um, experience that would be required if we so desired, you can see they do step up automatically and do this automatically. Um, but that, you know, that, that's kind of a pain in the butt way of doing it. Not to mention the fact that it takes a while to get to that high of a level, right? So let's say we want to speed it up a little bit. We want to speed this process up a little bit. What we can do is we can come up here to an import for a CSV file, and a CSV file is just a comma separated value. I'll show you guys that here momentarily here. Let's just edit this one and let's edit this one. All right. So we'll go over the dyno one first because it's a little easier. Now, what I did is I just went into Excel and I created a spreadsheet and I said that uh, I just made the levels from two down. All right. And then I said in the next column that this equaled the level times two times the level. So that's how I got the growth in the experience points on the way down. Then I just saved it out as a comma separated value. Now for us here in the States, a comma separated value is normally with commas. Uh, this desires semicolons. If you try to do it with a comma separated value that uses commas as the delimiter, um, it does not like it. So for us here in the States, we've got to go into Excel if we're using Excel and we've got to say, hey, in the advanced settings at the decimals, like the delimiters, basically, we want to take decimals. We want to change that to a comma instead of a decimal point, period, dot, whatever, um, and then save it out and it'll actually come out as a semicolon separated value where comma separated value where semicolon is the delimiter. All right. And for the players, I and I, oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm stuck in I and I's. Uh, for the player CSV, I did the basically the same thing. You just notice that it's got this little extra guy here at the end. The little extra guy at the end is the amount of Engram points you get per level. And you can see that it's definitely not the two times the um, level times the level. All right. This one I have basically set to five. So it says five times the level which would be 10 times the level would be 20. And that's how I got the growth to come down all the way through here. And then what I did for the Engram points is I just said every 10 goes up 10 until you hit the 200. All right. So uh, you have 10 levels at 10, 10 levels at 20, 10 levels at 30, so forth and so on until you hit to 200. And then I just flattened it out to 200 all the way down to 501. All right. So this basically will get us to level 500 and more Engram points that we would ever know what to do with. And the max experience that you would have to get to get there is going to be 1,225,000 or 255,000 and five. All right. So we've got the CSV file. What do we do with it? So we come over. <laughs> back into here and we're in the island here so what we're going to do is we're just going to come up to here to this where it says import customizations from csv file i'm going to click on our players bam it's going to change all the way down so you know you put a little work up front with making the csv file it makes this part of it that much faster we're going to come over here and do the same thing with the dino levels I am good to go. And then 
we're going to run into a small problem though, right? Because this is 125.505.5005. But our max XP up here says 1798540. All right. That's where this little green up arrow comes into play. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And what that does is that updates to the last value in this little table dealio here. You see that matches up now. And in the dyno settings, I believe the dyno settings is where the other experience is. Bam, that matches up now. All right. So basically this setup is going to make you level up pretty fast and your dinos level up pretty fast, you know, in comparison to what they could. And they're going to get an additional 500 levels. I don't know why for sure. I mean, I guess the test would be if I would make the value up there to six instead of five and the value up there to three instead of two to see if it would give me that last level. But normally when I do this, like I've set it up to go to 500 and it's only let me go to 499. So this one I set up to 501. So hopefully it lets me hit it even 500. All right. Now this is great. But something else I'm going to give you guys a warning about along the way while we're clicking save. All right. When you're leveling your dinos up to this level, um, there is a limitation in arc. And the limitation in arc is you cannot put over 255 points into any one specific level. Or when you do a server restart, your dino reset. I don't know if the same thing is true for your, uh, <laughs> for the dino's human counterpart or not. Eh, don't know. I've never actually sunk more than 255 levels into one particular thing as a survivor. Um, but as dinos, of course, you know, we're thinking we want melee or we want weight for our utility dinos. And you can run into problems there. So that's something to keep in mind um, as we go along. What did I do? I click out of that. There we go. All right. So let me show you guys where that file is saved. So we're going to go into here. We're going to go into here. We're going to go into our island. Shooter game, saved, config, Windows Server, game INI, and I keep doing this. All right, there we go, and edit that bad boy. I'm gonna make that full screen, and you guys can see that there is some huge code added here. Right, of course, this code was when we were doing our spawners and stuff, but you see right here where the level experience is, that is huge. Um, I can't even imagine going through this <laughs> and adding all of this in manually. I think I would go absolutely insane. Can you imagine like missing a comma? Anyone program out there? Can you imagine missing a comma or a semicolon or something in that? I mean, that's a mess. But that is the experience code right there. And then the overrides for the engrams is right here. And it is all there, right? Forever in a day. So the next time we'd start our server, these settings would take effect and we would be able to level up and do all of that good stuff. So guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or complaints, of course, leave them in the comments section and uh, I will try to get back to you. You can always message me on Twitter if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, definitely have more subs than Twitter follower or hit Twitter, Twitter, uh, Twitter followers. So, you know, I, I'm trying to check the both locations pretty regularly, uh, and try to help people out where I can. Uh, let's see here. If you guys liked the video, found it helpful, uh, consider hitting that like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Um, I don't know how many more of these arc server manager tutorials I'm going to be able to do. I'm starting to run out of things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, We've, we've covered a good bit in nine videos, I think. Uh, nothing too, like, real, real in depth. So if you guys have any questions, um, I'm always up to try to explain things a little bit better. And sometimes I'll make a video just to kind of, if, if it's a regular question, just to kind of cover the, the regular questions. Um, but as always, guys, thank you very much for checking out the video. And I hope to see you next time.